Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics. We once again have Mark from Qualitex back. Mark, hello. Great to be back, thanks. And Mark today is going to show us how to make a spider that could go really, really well with a design like this. So, Mark, over to you. Fantastic. So, we've got some pre inflated balloons. We've got an 11 inch uh, Onyx Black downsized to around 8 inches. Yep. Um, we've got some of our Spider Eye. They're really inch. funky. I like really those. Really cool. Yeah. Uh, and I've inflated that to around four. Okay. Uh, and then we've got some 160 Qs. Could be 260 Qs. Just all depends on your uh, on your design. Yeah. Yeah. Um, essentially, the problem that most people have with spiders is is getting all the legs to line it's up catching and, them. and do catching that's them. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so we're yeah. just going to uh, start by clustering these two together. And when we do that, I want to tie the knot so that I've got quite a lot of the neck of the 11 inch yep. still there. Okay. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reinflate that neck to give me an extra little bubble. All oh, right. Okay. So, all right. Just use my hand pump here. I've not seen that before. And we're just going to reinflate the neck to get a little bubble there. Okay. Okay. So once I've got the bubble, I can then tie off again. I'm going to ask the question, but I'm sure you're going to explain. Why have you done that? Um, uh, essentially, I could be putting lots of pinch twists and building a little framework for clusters inside here. Okay. Um, it just saves me using an extra balloon, really. Okay. All right. Um, I'll take that uh, a little bubble that we've made, and I'm going to create a little pinch twist. Okay. So that can then sit that way yeah and then that allows us to have two two 160s I next see. to each other okay yeah. in, in in the frame so with our uh, 160s halve that out and then i'm going to create a small bubble in the center so you didn't fully inflate those, you left a few inches at the end. I've left a few inches at the end, and as you're working, you're always going to be pushing the air yeah. down here. So if you tie them off every time that you do a pinch or a twist, uh, the, the balloon's going to actually expand. Yeah. And that's where some people end up with um, burstages. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to do that with, with, with two of them. Um, do you like the, uh, uh, the knotted? Yeah, 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 yeah. I prefer those. Yeah, I prefer the knotted ones. Okay. So we're also going to put some knee joints in, in exactly the same method. I don't think I'll ever like that noise, you know. So there's our knee joints okay. in. And we need to make two of those. All right. So this could be used for Halloween, couldn't it? This or Spider-Man parties. Spider-Man parties, of course, yeah. Spider-Man's yeah. uh, uh, one of the evergreen Disney Marvel licenses. How many versions of that film have there been now? Uh, oh, uh, I, I, that's I, a question of the week, that is. I I <laughs> okay. So once you have two of the legs done, Okay, it's two yep. uh, 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 main legs done. Okay, we can then uh, drop them into the to, to the body uh, that we've already created. Yeah, we want the pinch twist in the centre to be on the top. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do is we can just lay that down into there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross the legs over underneath. And if you find they're sticking slightly, roll the leg rather than just pulling it. Yeah. yeah. Le there's less friction on, on, on doing that. So there's our one done. What do you mean roll the leg, sorry? I'll show you when I, when I drop this one in. Next set of legs going exactly the same way from the top. So rather than pulling, yeah. if you roll oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. The, the balloon round, it's less likely to get caught. And then you can adjust those when they're through. And then you can adjust those when they're through. So then I've got two sets of legs in place. Yep. And we can adjust the, the uh, knee joints. Yeah. 
So um, uh, with the next set of legs, what we're not going to do is we're just going to find the middle. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to put the knee joints in, but not a pinch twist in the middle. Why do we not put a pinch twist in the middle? Because we've got the bubble yeah. pinch twist from the 11 inch underneath. Yeah. So what, you're going to attach it to that? I'm going to attach it to that. So that, that longer um, uh, bubble becomes in effect a pinch twist. I see, okay. Um, and it just seems to sit, sit better if we do, yeah. if we do that. Um, so again, drop our knee joints in. See, that's a good point that you made earlier about how it shoves the air up. So yes. you wouldn't do this knee first and then do that knee. You always start as far away. Always start there. From... You, can see, you can see that is about the amount of air from each twist yeah. um, that, that you drop in. Uh, or you're re removing from that part of the balloon. It's got to go somewhere. Yeah. So if it doesn't go, if you ha don't l let it move down the balloon, it's just going to expand the balloon to yeah. the point of bursting. It's yeah. only like inflating an 11 inch and inflating it to 13. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and that's why most people sort of have, have burstage problems. Um, because I'm, I, you know, I was never, uh, I've never been an entertainer, uh, never been really a, a, a decor twister, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but they're so useful just to create the accents onto all your designs. Yeah, yeah. It's really worth sort of getting a few skills. Well, in, in, the, in the olden days, so I've heard, the twisters would never even consider decor and decors would never even touch twisting. Exactly. Uh, that's really good that you can merge the two now. But it just makes so much sense because you can create something like that. We talk about the perceived value, and that and that's yeah. that's the piece that we're actually doing is that we're adding in um, uh, as much perceived value as we uh, as we possibly can, um, and at the lowest cost. I mean, these these elements there's there's a bit of skill and there's a bit of time, but they're very inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. Material costs next to nothing, aren't they? Okay, so once we've got our legs with our rough centre point, yeah. We're going to turn him over and we're going to drop these into, into the um, spider's belly. So we just want to create a twist in the centre and then we're going to wrap this through. So again, it's better to roll it through yeah. to the front and then cross over. Yeah. Yep. And the same on the reverse way, we're going to roll it through to the back. Okay. And then cross over. Yeah. So now from the underneath, and that's my sort of favourite viewpoint of it. You can see how everything sits together. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And then all we need to do is just adjust our end legs. Now I haven't taken off um, the ends of our 160s, um, and I always leave that to the very end because you might decide that you're going to tie this ah, right, okay. to uh, uh, an actual design. Um, I only sort of did this uh, earlier for the first time, but it works really well. There's no glue on this design at all. What I've done is I've used a black 160 to tie off uh, um, yeah. a, a spider uh, print bubble, um, and I've used the tails of that to stretch all the way around to the top and tie again oh, yeah. around the seam, which allows us to just tie on in two points. Oh, right, that's amazing. Air spider. So that's that's not another 160Q. That's just the 160Q. It's the same one I've used. You could put add another one in if yeah. you found it uh, uh, found it better to do that. So is that going to hold a third one? Do you think it won't hold a third okay. one? But this will be this will be nice oh, for, be for, for finished okay. base. So all, all you need to do is, as the air's been pushed down to the end, is you just need to finish these pieces off by just yeah. cutting that bit out there and then tying that off. And the same with each one. Making sure you follow the same sort of size legs as the, yeah. uh, uh, as the one before.
So that looks quite fiddly. If ever you let go of that, can you still reinflate the balloon? You could reinflate back to the knee joint, and if yeah. you haven't got the knee joint in, then it becomes difficult. Yeah, yeah. So you've done the one on here with the knee joint and one without. I, I like the knee joint. I just like that little bit of extra detail. I think it really adds to it. Okay, so one last one to do, and then he should stand. Should now stand as our, as our finished spider. And you can just adjust the legs and do what you need to do. Stand, stand. <laughs> so what would you do? You're gonna tie that to the bottom of-, of Tie the... that to the bottom of the base. Just by using one of the necks in there and then tying it to, to the end of one of, the, one of our actual knot pieces that's left on here. All right, I see. And you can tie multiple legs in. Just so really cool. a funky way to finish off our design. I love that. That's brilliant. Well, Mark. Thank you very much for that Spider-Man slash Halloween design. There you go. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.